Okay, we're back with the all-in-one. We're gonna illustrate one more way that this can be mounted. And this is to a low edge detail. It's real simple on the low edge. All that we have to do is set it right on your edge. And as you can see in this base, there is ample room for your gravel stop or any edge metal that you would have. There's plenty of clearance there. You set the base right over your edge. And then you're going to use four to six number 14 fasteners to secure this base down. Four is the absolute minimum fasteners. They need to have at least inch and a half of grip into your wood. So that would mean that you're gonna have to use somewhere in the neighborhood of a two inch screw, number 14 in size, aggressive grip. And alternate your patterns of putting the screws in to keep from splitting wood grains. On this particular one, I have set five screws in it. It is screwed down into your two by six blocking at the low edge detail. There's ample room here for them to allow for their insulation when they come back. And then as they're doing the roofing, it will all fit right in place. Now we're going to set our rail heights at our 42 inch rail height. We'll bring our bracket up here to approximately 42 inches in the center of that rail. Double check our measurement to make sure we do not have more than a 21 inch gap in any way from your working surface to your top rail. And then we're going to secure two before rail into this one. All that you have to do, slide your two befores in there. There are room that you can lay them flat, stand them up, and there's ample room to double the thickness in there to overlap your two bys. You will need to apply one of your fasteners into each two before as you're putting them up. And just continue in this method around the roof edge, taking into account that with wood rail, you are never to exceed over eight foot centers on your steel posts or your posts. Okay, that's it.